Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a five box break of 2019 Blowout Holiday Pack Party Basketball. Random team break number one, doing all five boxes right here. Nice. There you go, one. I don't know why there's different stickers on some of them. They all, they all say Pack Party Basketball. Each box, uh, I guess there'll be about 100 packs plus packs in the entire break. Each box has about 20 to 25 packs. So let's see what happens. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. And thanks to the teams for existing. Let's roll it and randomize it two and a four, six times for each break or for each list. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six and final time. After six, we got Matt D down to Chris P. All right, two and a four, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times, we've got the Memphis Grizzlies all the way down to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, trades are allowed in random team breaks, but trade at your own risk. I have no idea what the, if, if there is, even is a checklist for a product like this. Probably not. So trade at your own risk. Theoden saying that some of the packs are cool and they're all 2000s, so that should help you figure things out. Memphis Grizzlies, Matthew, Chris with the Pacers, Matt P with the Pistons, Mitch with the Rockets, Scott with the Bulls, Jeffrey with the Heat, Matt Bodner with the Pelicans, Aaron with the Spurs, Justin with the Raptors, Jared with the Clippers, Mitch with the Warriors, Bill with the Thunder, Aaron with the Mavs, Bill, Last Bod Mojo, star next to your name, Hawks, Connor with the Bucks, Evan with the Magic, who has uh, the Magic up for trade. Sanford with the Hornets, Mark with the Lakers and Nuggets, Scott with the Kings, Chris Parent with the Suns, Mike with the Nets, Evan with the Knicks, Kit with the Blazers, Brian with the Celtics, Mitch with the Wizards, Justin with the Jazz, Steven with the Cavs, Victor with the Sixers, and Chris Parent with the Minnesota Timberwolves. And Sanford has the Hornets up for trade. There's the list right there. Kip says there's a good mix of hobby and retail packs, though. All right, that's fine. I mean, listen, that was only, what, 26-something a break, a spot? So I think that's a pretty good, pretty good deal for 100 packs, 100-plus packs. All right, I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, everybody. There were no trades. So that list right there remains the same Thursday the 9th, our first group break of the day. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Quick note right here. Um, since this may include some older cards, Charlotte stuff. So we're just going to go by the city for Charlotte and New Orleans. So Charlotte stuff, it says Charlotte, we'll go to Charlotte. New Orleans stuff will go to New Orleans. Seattle stuff, um, per, per usual, goes to OKC. And if there's any cards that have their non-pro uniform on it, college, high school, then they'll go to the team that they are currently on if they're active or the team they played for the longest, our usual non-pro uniform rules. I don't know where my knife is. All right, there we go. All right, so it's just a bunch of packs in each box. I get it, all right. That's kind of cool. So this, 1718 Prism. Jeff's wondering how many uh, retail packs are in this. I'm not sure. Well, we'll find out, Jeff, if you want to keep track for us.
I'm assuming veteran commons don't chip in this per usual. I'm assuming veteran commons don't chip in this. That Lou Williams will ship though. Kawhi Leonard, Spurs. And these will ship, of course, Willie Collie's time, Maurice Harkless, Danilo Gallinari. All right, so this, this, I guess we'll have to figure out what all these, this was 17, 18 as well. Josh Jackson, Hall Kings, Dan Smith Jr. It's an event, some of these should could have hits in here too. Obviously, all rookie cards will ship. Ian Clark, prestigious premieres signatures for the Jazz. Didn't Logan predict that the Jazz were going to hit left and right? Justin with the Jazz. That was 13-14, Prestige. Marcin Gortat to 175, Gordon Hayward, Utah edition. And we've got 13, 14, got a hobby jumbo pack right here. Pinnacle. Mason Plumley, autograph, rookie auto for the Nets. That's going to go to Mike Tower. Got 16, 17 threads. Uh, I don't know if they have rookie, R, the RC tag for coaches. I wish they said Darren Collison, people in LA talking about Darren Collison maybe coming back to play basketball. Maybe for the Lakers or the Clippers. Revolution Hoops coming out later this month. Chris Parent, no worries. That was a great hit. That rookie Joel Embiid from Threads. That was pretty awesome. I don't know. What the, what does that go for on a secondary market? Kenny Skywalker, Knicks. Out of Prism. That'll be for... That'll be for Evan with the New York Knicks. Marcin Gortat, that, that, not numbered, but that'll shit. 12 13 marquee. That's a cool, that's like a nice little window in there. That's pretty neat. Make sure none of these are numbered on the back. They're not. Chris Parent said, you did a stuff box of this stuff last week and hit a De'Aaron Fox Silver Prism and a Giannis Prestige Rookie card. It's not too shabby. It's a cool 
John Morant. Uh, that means the veteran when veteran commons don't ship out. That means these veteran common cards don't ship out. So that won't ship. That won't ship. But since that's a parallel, obviously that will ship. And rated and all rookie cards will ship. Stuff like this would ship because that's an insert, but these are, or I guess that will ship because they're rookie cards, but these won't ship because they're commons. All right, 1718 mosaic. And all of these will ship because are, these are considered inserts. Fell on his tailbone the other night. I'm a Lakers guy. So now this guy, Kuz, might have to play his spot. Anthony Davis' spot, at least for a game or two. Easy, Sean. Boss man's a veteran. We do not hate veterans here. Just veteran common cards. All right, that's just box one. So I think this break actually might take me longer than I thought it would. This might take closer to an hour. Josh Jackson rated rookie to 155. Oh, does it not say? It should say. Well, I'm saying it now. Veteran commons won't ship. I'm assuming they're not shipping for a break like this. Or there's a million vet base here, I think. Wrecking, what's going on? Yeah, boss man is a uh, Navy guy, a CB. Back in the 60s, 70s. Michael Porter Jr. had a great start, finally, to his career. I mean, if this guy ends up being as great as he is, you might be able to still buy low on him. There's Kyrie. TJ, what's going on? Any goodies, regular? We always have goodies here at Jaspies.
Jason Smith, not numbered, but it will ship. These, of course, will all ship. All right, another marquee. Fifteen sixteen. Cliff Robinson. Nineteen nineteen. We sure do baseball wrecking. If you look at our site, our website, that's right above my head, jazbeescasebreaks.com, you can see all the products that we that we offer. Pinnacle. Trey, what's going on? How are you? I'm doing well, Trey. We're, we're kind of diving into a little bit of this uh, holiday pack party here, seeing what this is all about. Lou Williams was a Hawk? I don't remember Lou Williams as an Atlanta Hawk. Yes, he was. Past present. Twelve thirteen past present. Rod Strickland autograph. An old Washington bullet. Which of course will go to the Washington Wizards. Mitch with the Washington Wizards. Trying to look for the year. What year is this? This is 1718. All these years just blur in together. And 1617 re revolution. Um, Jaspies is going to Texas, yes. I am personally not. I will be holding down the fort here at the shop. We're trying to figure out if if there'll be if there'll be if it'll be open to the public at all on that tops million card thing. That's yeah, my hands are too delicate for that kind of labor, right? These hands are only built for flawless. Nice Lori Markin and rookie silver. See Jimmy Butler just going off on TJ Warren, I think it was. Man, that was some that was some fire trash talking there. Yeah, we're a real card shop in Hermosa Beach, California, wrecking ball. 
We are we are the real deal. Not just not just doing this in, in mom's basement. Yeah, we'll be live streaming the Dallas Breaks, Frank. I'm assuming all the other group breakers that are there will be doing the same. Yeah, he was blowing, he was blowing kisses as well, Jimmy Butler. You see, he had the, uh, he had the. Uh, Do you see his Instagram? There was like an Instagram post, I think, where where he circled the date of the next game that they were gonna he was gonna play. I was just like, man, that is great. That's some that's some classic, old school trash talking. But like, but still kind of clean. You know what I mean? So this is good old clean trash talking, which I like. I like these mosaics. And Damian Lillard, one out of 99. Autograph. Nice. I was kind of wasn't expecting that. That goes to Kit and the Trailblazers. Dame time. That's pretty cool. Did not expect that to pop out of this break here. The mosaic's nice too, yeah. Although although it's not family friendly content, the Damian Lillard's uh, musical efforts are actually pretty uh, actually pretty good. As far as, as far as uh, it goes for athletes turned, you know, musicians, artists. So it's not that bad. Yeah, that Dame card probably goes for a lot, Frank. 170 years, he's saying? Trey Young rated rookie. Jeff in the house as well. Pinnacle. Sixty-four out of ninety-nine. Michael Carter Williams, Team Twenty Twenty. What does that mean? Were they expecting him to go off? I mean, he's playing pretty well. I'll go to the Sixers.
Tony Bradley Green and Ante Zizic. Two more boxes to go. Um, I don't think anything is next, Frank. Nothing sold out at the moment. So it could be whatever you want it to be. You could lead the way if you want to play some orders. I see about, what, 15 or so orders coming in here already. I'm looking at the site right now. So yeah, Frank, if you look at the site, you can see if there's anything that says sold out. One of the... Bowman break or the series one breaks are sold out, but that's not until February. It looks like nothing else is sold out at the moment, so so yeah, every everything's open and ready to go. I, I am going to run a couple number block randomizers after this, but otherwise, nothing else sold out. There's Jason Tatum. So visit jazbeescasebreaks.com, everybody. Start getting into. Start buying some spots and let's see what we can get into. Nice Ben Simmons. Is that is that it's not rookie Ben Simmons, is it? I wish it was. No, this is 1718. Because Ben Simmons autographs are uh, are exclusive to upper deck. Especially his rookie year. Those parallels will go for go will go for a lot. I'm doing well, Jeff. Doing our thing as usual, starting off the day with little hoops, which I like. We do have Contenders Basketball on the site, ladies and gentlemen. The latest edition of Contenders Basketball, half case random teams. If anybody's interested in that, would love to do one of those tonight. That's th Thursday, Jeff. You missed a day. We've got Solomon Hill, Pacers. Reggie Jackson. We got DeMar Rosen to one to 2019. Isaiah Thomas, Kings, oh, Muggsy Bogues, Charlotte, passing the torch dual autograph, that's a randomizer, one happy person, one sad person, it's number 31 out of 49, Sanford with Charlotte, and Scott with the Kings. That's a cool dual autograph. Tony Snell, another autograph. 
That'll go to the Bucks. That's going to be for Connor. 1718 Prism. Marquee. Revolution. What's happening? New furniture? Get some new furniture. Oh. That'd be good. That that saves some space. Call La Bissier. Thought there was gonna be an autograph. Got Pinnacle. Uh oh, are we are we doing are we doing Kobe, Jordan, LeBron? Is that what's happening, Eastwood? Yeah, I don't know why people compare LeBron to MJ. That that always is Westbrook. That always confused me. Kobe is definitely a closer comparison to MJ. Dennis Schroeder, Team Twenty Twenty. LeBron more more like Magic, I would say. I know, such different eras, though. It's hard to say. Hard to say how Ma how Michael Jordan would have handled the social media era. Can you imagine him being photographed at like clubs and on the golf course, smoking cigars, gambling, stumbling out of casinos? Can you imagine all that on social media? Ooh. Got bonus shots. Uh, Ricky Davis for the Clippers. That'll be for Jared Patterson. I mean, e even Kobe was a little old for the the full, the full like social media battles that that people have. February, Johnny, we're breaking that on February in Dallas. I think the date is on the uh, on the product description there. Man, I would. I mean, imagine, imagine if like Insta or Twitter was around, if TMZ was around during Michael Jordan's era. Someone would be uncovering how many thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars Jordan blew in Vegas. Maybe following him to Vegas in every airport. Mike, you know those all those big Gatorade Nike commercials. I mean, it'd be ESPN. Special upon special on Michael Jordan. Inside the lines, Michael, 30 for 30, Michael Jordan. Everyone, all the media wants a piece of Michael Jordan. That would be wild. The kids these days, you know, there's a, there's a little bit of a weird social media pressure that's going on. That some of the older guys never had to deal with. Different challenges in a different era. Chris Lombar says LeBron. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. Why, why are we comparing players anyway? Chris Lombardo says LeBron James reminds me of LeBron James. Lori Markin and Rookie.
Sean says, you counted 12 cases on the side for Series 1. Is Nick just waiting to post the rest of them? I would assume so. The powers, the powers of, of, of deduction from Sean Corbett. We'd, we'd, Sean, you and I would be like, uh, it'd be like Holmes and Watson. Remember Holmes and Watson with, uh, with Will Ferrell and John C. Riley, And I wanted that movie to be so good, but it was just so bad. Folks, we have also have a we don't have any more basketball versions of these, but we do have a football version of this. If you want to try to get into that, that should be that should be fun too. Nobody saw that. Right, 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 right. Nobody saw that. All right, no one would spend money on that. That's right. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't spend money on that. <laughs> because that'd be stupid, right, Sean? It'd be dumb. If anybody spent money on that. Yeah, this is definitely a blast from the past, Chris. Looking at these old packs with the old rookies reminds you how many rookies never end up doing anything in the league. Yeah. Frank, before you do the next break after this, let me know so you can buy a few spots. Well, I'm going to do a break after this, Frank, so I, I would buy spots. Unfortunately, I can't really let – it's just all spontaneous. If you look at the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com, you can see the spots left numbers kind of tick down, and you'll be able to see which ones there are. But by the time it gets close to filling, the momentum for that break just becomes so fast, it's hard for me to say, hey, this is going to go next. And by the time I get ready to say that, then the break oftentimes is sold out. Oh yeah, you just watched Ford versus Ferrari. I, need, I still need to see that. That looks pretty good. There's Luke Longley, old Bulls legend Luke Longley, going to Scott Mulholland. Yeah, Trey. Surely you did not spend money on on Will Ferrell and John T. Riley, Holmes and Holmes and Watson. That'd be that'd be dumb. I didn't. I certainly didn't. Anchorman, it was not. I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. Valentinus. Rookie Giannis Antetokounmpo from Pinnacle. Sure, that has some value. I've heard of that. I've heard of this guy. Connor with the Bucks. That's correct, Frank. Just the break with least amount of spots and then fills is next once it gets down to zero. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know, he seems pretty thin there, right? Giannis minus the 50 pounds of muscle. He definitely has bulked up over the years. Kyle Lowry die cut. And last couple packs, and then we got a randomizer, remember that. Last couple packs. 17-18. Ben Simmons. The last one here, 16-17 threads. And that, my friends, is that. Not too shabby. Some interesting stuff in here. Like, Good to see some of the blasts from the pasts here. And let's make one person happy and one person sad. We got a Sacramento and Charlotte randomizer. What's left to do in NT? I think just selling teams straight up. I think the number block is already done. So just selling teams straight up. So there's Charlotte and Sacramento Kings. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Team on top gets it after nine times, five and a four. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And good luck. Ninth and final time. Team on top after nine is Sacramento. After nine... So that dual autograph goes to Scott Mulholland with the Sacramento Kings. You get the Muggsy Bogues, Isaiah Thomas, Kings edition, dual autograph from Elite Basketball, from 13-14 Elite Basketball, 31 out of 49. There you have it, folks. That was a five-box random team break of 2019 Blowout Holiday Pack Party Basketball from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We've got a football version in the store if you want to check that out. This is Joe, and I'll break with you next time. Bye.